decir, te elijo a ti Si me dan a elegir, te elijo a ti Para poder vivir, te elijo a ti So now to tell the subs how impressed you were by my use of Spanish Yes, Mark said to the cab driver that there was no toilet paper. No hay está el papel higiénico, está en la habitación 11. I remember the very first time Mark ever chatted me up. He told me that line in Spanish. But do you know... And here we are, 20 years later, he's not added anything on. All right. <laughs> Apart from, but the driver really said... The driver went, ask reception. <laughs> so anyway, here we are in... We're in... Where are we? Alcudia Port. Yeah. And uh, the restaurant is to the left. We're on the coast. Oh look, this is what you want, girls. This is like almost sort of like Ominous. Venice Beach, but not. Look at that funny looking palm tree. It's a bit yeah. pathetic, isn't it? It's a bit That's like the character out of American Horror Story. That's a... Look, local police. What's going on here? It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit barren, isn't it? No, but it's not. How do you know this is the weird bit? Oh yeah, fireworks! Don't tell me we're here for a big firework display. Oh my god, we are! Look, police, local. Oh look, do you want to go on the bouncies? Huh? So we, I really wanted to go on the Harry Potter bouncy castle, but no one else did. Um, it looks so like Harry Potter, doesn't it? So we're now going to navigate our way back up to, guess what? The medieval wall. Yeah, because you know what happens within medieval walls? Parties. You know what we should make do? What? Book the restaurant. Which one? Are we going back to the restaurant we were at last night, girls? It's a bit embarrassing, it's a bit keen. Look at the scarecrow. Oh. Hey. Fig tree. So, Mum, that's our, that's, that's our plans for the front garden. Right there. Huge septic tank. Oh, look, grapes. You seen the grapes? Whoa. Look, look. Is this hyacinth? Something like that. So we're now walking back to the old city, to the medieval wall. I love these trees. What are these trees? The bark coming off. Look at it. So nice. Oh, hello. So we knocked Pippa into the long grass. We didn't like that video. No. And so we are now yeah, we back. Where we were last night. We should be There's lots of squares, tables. Yeah, let's go that way. Let's hang a left. And it's all very, I don't know, it's very sort of Moorish, isn't it? Feels, it feels North African, something about everything, don't you feel? Yeah. yeah. The whole Moorish thing. I want to walk along the medieval wall. Maddie needs the loo. Let's get from yeah, the toilet. Yeah. And then we're going to walk along. The the medieval. Oh, this is the medieval wall. Oh, yeah, we go yeah. up there. Okay, for a minute. Away from the hormones. There's a lot of female hormone action going on on this holiday. What you need sometimes is just a deserted, polished, floored street in a medieval walled town. That's what a bloke needs sometimes, and that's what I've got right now, and I'm keeping it. Okay, as you will. My favourite is paella. You're not a big seafood. That's what I come to Spain for. I love Better be good. Very fussy. Yeah. Oh. I need it to be olive oily, I need it to be salty, I need it to be lemony. We're in Game of Thrones.
we're doing that after dinner wander that women love to do. They look repeatedly at different things that they don't want, and they have no intention of getting. They hypothesize how beautiful it would look on them, other people they know, how they've never seen anything like it before, how it takes them down trips and memory lanes and all sorts of things, and, how such as, and then they spend ages and they're about to commit to it and then they don't buy it. So that's what we're doing now. Women getting overly attached to memory you know what? You are and shopping. very, very lucky because we haven't gone into one single shop. Oh, no, no. Right? So just consider yourself really, really lucky because I've wanted to go into everyone and haven't gone into one. Look up there. Look up there. So, I managed to get you down the medieval wall. Yeah, I loved it. Did you like it? Yeah, thanks, babe. It's my game of friends. I was very good you put it in the medieval wall. It's very medi. <laughs> medi. Demi. Demi. Demi evil. Medieval. I'd like to push it. Push it, push it. Push it real thing. Push it real thing. What's that song? I'm never waiting for. Never waiting for a cab. I want a smack of culture. I want a bit of culture pummeled between me and you can eat, and that's a bit bright. I want to check out this church. I love a frontage. I love a facade. I want to look at the facade. Not a lot of room. You can't get you can't get much distance on it to get a photograph of it. So actually, as for start to go, it wasn't a particularly good one to photograph. Actually, it's quite a good shot from there. See that? It's quite nice. You see it? Yeah. Look, there's the church. Go down the stairs. <gasps> Look. You can go underneath the wall. That's how they were all getting in at Glastonbury, digging holes and underneath the medieval wall. I've had the best night of my life tonight. No, I haven't. Looking forward to getting in a cab, heading home. Oh, sit by the pool. Maybe go to a phone party tonight. Thunder, dry lightning. I don't know.
and Mark had a tip this morning, so now he's trying to prove that he can do the cream on his own. Of course, nine times out of ten, I have to do my own bloody back. And it's hard any cream in that one. so many bits. <laughs> you alright babe? Well, need any help? Do you need any help? How are you feeling in the morning after the storm? Well, I'm feeling like we're about to have another one. Look at, look, look at the sky. I think we may need to take evasive action. You Your know, book isn't going to make it through storm as well as sun. Look at it. You know, on a more serious note, as I was saying to the girls this morning, when you think of countries, you know, which for years, you think of Syria and places like that, bombing, you think of, you think of so many countries. Places get my pet by natural disasters like oh, Haiti. But over and over again, the bombing sounds, you know, and you think of being a child, like the girls were really, really scared yeah, last night. I woke up terrified, my heart was absolutely pumping. Maddie, because she's in her room on her own, bless her, she's so, she just texted me, said, I'm so exhausted, mum, I hardly so, It just passes for us, doesn't it? And then we're back to our holiday. if it rains all day. Okay. One, day I one day I decide to not sit under a parasol and this happens. Huh? I think it will pass. I think it will blow away. Yeah. Mm. Feeling it. It's landing on me. It's plopping. It's dropping. It's rocking. It's tripping. It's hitting, Nads. Save your book, it's nice. I'm just hoping it's gonna be fat, fat globules of rain. And we're not gonna to have to dash in. We've had swarm, we've had flood, we've had pestilence, you name it. We've had everything. Mm -hmm. Nads. Foam. Okay, so this is a little moment for you, Nanny Di. It wasn't your kind of trip, this, so that's why you're not here. Um, but uh, we need painkillers. We have period cramps. We have no painkillers and who has a pot a myriad selection of all sorts of weird and curious looking pills and so I'm now running along the main road to try and find a pharmacia or a pharmacia, pharmacia, pharmacia to find some uh, headache pills or painkillers to relieve period pain. God, poor women, poor women. So once I've done that I'm then heading to get some of the other accoutrements of the period, uh, but also that vital, vital tool, which is chocolate. I've been sent on a chocolate mercy mission. Just seen the cross, I've seen the plus sign, the emergency plus sign. I'm gonna be allowed to cross by the traffic. Are they gonna understand my Spanish though when I say ibuprofen? Are they gonna understand ibuprofen? I think they might. It's like the Spanish for bruises, bruz. You know that, bruz? Anyway. Sartorial elegance over there. Yeah. Flashing green light. I went in and said, uh, mi, mi hijo uh, es uh, la duele en la stomach. So I said, I actually said that because I don't know. Pointed at my abdomen and said, ah, period pain. Yeah, got just the thing. So there we go. Sorted. It is incredibly strange not having a car 
it's incredibly strange like last night getting a taxi back but it is nice it's nice and it ends up being you know if you're traveling it's so much more cost effective i mean you just don't have the freedom of getting up and rushing and doing all that kind of stuff but yeah you do feel slightly i'd be lying if i didn't say i felt slightly trapped when you're kind of locked into one location and all around the streets around it it's quite hard to kind of get anywhere i mean that's when running locally is quite a good way to do a recce but you know running and then shopping with your you know running back with your shopping on your back it's hardly practical is it but anyway mission accomplished there you go guys Mallorca a la Stretum. It's a bit windy. It's a bit windy. A bit windy. So, this was a good buffet day. Good buffet day. I enjoyed my food today. I had a lovely sea bass. The girls had something called chicken drops, teardrops, and nuggets. What were those things I just and had? This is that? yummy. It's like a walnut whip. There's a frantic the air top, though. The top is a little bit salty. Yeah. A little bit coconutty. Only slightly. But there's that sort of mixed spirit because the weather's bad, so everyone's completely lost their minds. I feel like everyone's gone completely batshit crazy. You've got to keep moving because people are so loud. There's madness. It's everywhere you look, there's. I want more of that paint. <laughs> It does feel like there's going to be a... People are singing, man. Oh, God. It's, like we're, yeah, it's literally like we're on a sinking ship. Chin-chin. I really need another one of those cakes. Oh, that's good. Which one did I have? I, have to say, I told you I have all to say, about it. I, it. Okay, it was a better buffet experience, but I do find the general concept really anxiety-creating. Yeah, people are it's so, so noisy. I mean, it's just... The noise. It's making me feel like I'm severely on the spectrum. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you have been told you've got a spring clean. Pardon? Nothing. You see, you see, people always imagine that villas are more expensive. They're not. They're cheaper than hotels. And also, Mark and the girls cannot bear the level of this no oh uh, uh, noise doesn't bother me in the same they're literally going mad with the noise of the buffet <laughs> and then the buffet you always know exactly you always know that there's going to be the carrots that don't taste of anything it doesn't look no. like there's anyone in shop but there is so much noise so much noise so much bloody noise but the thing is because i'm such a good cook if you're not a good cook, you're going to love the food here. But if you're a good cook, you're not. And the trouble is, the good thing is, my family have now really appreciated me. Oh, we really do. Today, I Damn brought up kitchen. to the buffet my own bottle of olive oil. Yeah, yeah. And the girl's like, Mom, and I went, yeah, I'm going to get pasta. I'm going to get a few things from the salad bar. I've got my olive oil. Yeah, it's in your donor bag. bag. It's in my donor bag. Open it up. It's really funny. Because the olive oil is not of good quality here. And then we're like, Mum, are you going to make a mum pasta? Now, you know, in an all-inclusive, when you work it all out, it's much more expensive for lunch than if I was going down to the local spa and whipping up a pasta in the villa. Think about it, guys. You might be paying a lot more for an all-inclusive. Smoke and mirrors. Is that the phrase, smoke and mirrors? Or was it shadow? If they can help you, which one was it hey. that I love? You've got to go and get the cake I love. They want only two more. Two? Yeah. They're very small. I've laid them out. Are you out. thinking about sex anyway then? Maybe. Sorry Tix, Mark hasn't got boomerang on his phone so I'm boomeranging for you. 
So these are the rooms that we all, everybody tries to work out how much they cost. So they've got big double beds and canopies on. What do you reckon? Raining, but this is what we're looking at. Oh, any other fucker, the beach is out. So I thought I'd sing you a song. No, I'm having to use all my core to bridge this gap between <laughs> the two beds. Okay, well, pretend you're comfortable, it's really raining now, and I'm going to sing to you. You can grope the cantilope, but you mustn't touch me plumbly. You can stroke me off the but you mustn't touch me plumbly. Do you know why this made me think of the song? Because my plums are currently on the floor. <laughs> no, because it feels like I'm lying under a coconut tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really tense. Look, Instagram versus the others. I can't move my head. This one question, right? It's, there's nobody else on the beach. And this beach is really busy. The reason for that is it's raining. But I've never been able to get one of these beds, so I'm really happy. But I just had a thought. There's a massive storm last night. Look at the sky. Ah, yeah, Mark! <laughs> if thunder and lightning came now, would we get we more likely to be struck by lightning? Yes. Even though we're lying on rubber? It doesn't matter, because if your nipples are hard, it's warm to them. But doesn't rubber save you from being electrocuted? Not the kind of rubber you've got. Mark! Da, 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 sing it. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, what is that song? What is it? What is the song I'm trying to sing? See, he doesn't know how lucky he is that he's married to a woman, but he's still happy even when the weather is like that. Because it means I've got the beach and the sea. We know it's blue because it was blue yesterday and the day before. It's only grey now because the clouds are grey. Can a sea ever be blue, right, when the sky is blue? Yeah. Is the colour of the sea only a reflection of the clouds? Yes. I thought my mum was lying when she told me that. Is that physics? Biology. I'm having a nightmare on this fucking beach. I've got grains of sand in under my big fucking toenail. Oh, there's sun over there. Where? I haven't been able to lie on this bed once and look at the sea because they're always busy. And now it's raining. It's brilliant. There's nobody else there. Can't hear a thing. Listen to this bit. I am Can't so you. proud because the sun has exactly the same strength. Oh, fuck off. It is true. Shut you up. You get the best tan in the clouds. That's what you still have to do. Well, when the sun has got his hat on. Next on, isn't it true that even on a cloudy day, the sun I mean, it's actually raining now. But I think we're going to 
brown by the end of today. <laughs> What's the matter now? What? Oh, fuck! So, we've decided to go and find the spa, if you can hear us. We're going to go and go in the plunge pool. You barely see anything. In the sauna. Oh, in the sauna. Or the sauna. So we're going to get sexy shots of you. Huh? Doing this. Are we? But the camera's automatically steaming up. Oh, we're loud. Get down here. Ew. <laughs> I do that every time I come to the gym. That's I, not a good staircase. I, no, it's not it's a like good sign flat. of our mental health. I stop. It's like it's flat. And every time I come to the gym, I stop and go, Bruh. Look, show yourself. Don't you go with it too? Oh, yeah. Because it looks oh, flat. I can't see him. That is not a good thing. I bet they've had lots of people nearly kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 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 Where's that connection? Why is that why we go? Did I just see a horse? That's why you're going to the wet zone now, so you're going to wet yourself. Oh look, horses. Oh, well, Maddie would have loved that. Huh? Yeah, here's the gym. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. What? 